In this video, I'll show you guys how to use this add-on for Blender called Rhizom UV Bridge, which enables you to bridge Blender with Rhizom UV, so that you can do all the UV editing in Rhizom UV and uh, bring the mesh back to Blender. It's a really useful add-on if you ever use Rhizom UV for your UV work and a Blender for modeling. So I'll put the link for this add-on in the description. All you have to do is download this add-on and install it like usual. And once you install this add-on, you will have this tab in panel called Rise of UV. So first you have to go to that. First you have to change some settings that is go to this tab and here you have to select the path where you install the Rise of UV. So I will click the Rise of UV and now and then you can go to this uh, UV transfer tab and open all the settings. So all the settings uh, you can just know what the settings do just by reading them uh, every time you export it will export export every time you export it will exclude clones and uh, confirm export apply modifiers all this uh, i recommend you to keep this in default all the settings from this export tab as default and this import tab you can change some settings i'm going to click this mark seams so that uh, every time you import from a uh, import from Rhizom UV all the UV seams that you created in there will be automatically marked to use in Blender and here this tab have all the access how the Rhizom UV works so I'm going to here I'm going to leave most of them in default other than the map resolution I'm going to change this to 496 you can change all the settings if you want i'm going to keep them in default for the most part so once you change the value to 4096 it will change the margin and the padding value uh, as required now i can go here and on, all i have to do is now i have to select the object which i have to export and i have to click this export button this will open up the rhizome uv in a new window and with the object and the object it will export the object that you selected now as you can see this this Suzanne mesh has a default UV as you can see it has a default UV and in the 3d viewport you can see the UVs are not marked so I'm going to come here I'm just going to do some quick edit uh, this is not a tutorial on how to use Rhizome UV if you want a tutorial on how to use a Rhizome UV uh, leave some comments I will do them in future so I'm going to just make some quick edits As you can see, I made some quick edits. I'm going to unwrap them and I'm going to pack them. So this is the new UV I edited in Rhizom. So going back to Blender, this is the old one. So all I have to do to import the new UVs created from Rhizom UV is first I have to save the file. Every time you make some changes, you have to save the file. Then only it's going to import the proper UVs. And after saving in Rhizom UV, I have to come here to Blender and I have to click this import button. This will update the UV and you can see the notification also. Now if I go to edit mode, as you can see the model has all the updated UVs and it comes with seams marked. So this is how you use the Blender add-on called the Rhizome UV Bridge. I hope you like this video. If it is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to see all my future contents and to help this channel. Thank you. Bye.